Hello, good afternoon, everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about setting up your lineup in order to get ready for a game. To do so, we're going to have to head into my club. And at this point, we're going to see which is the best lineup that I have uh, that I need to set up for my next game. To go see the next games, you need to click on matches. And here, you're going to be able to see the information. We're going to go through each and every step that you need to take in order to create the best lineup possible. My next game is going to be complicated to get the win, but we'll see what we're going to do. As I mentioned in the in the other video, I got a new upgrade skill in one of my midfielders, so that's good. I'm going to be sharing that video with you guys if you guys want to watch that one. Very, very interesting. I'm playing against Tennessee Bolts. If I want to know more information about the situation with this team i need to head into my league and see that they're second in the league for now they haven't lost any game so far i have 23 points they have 31 so i'll see what i can do in order to win the game interesting thing is is tennessee's got to to play it with a red card and three of them are injured so that's kind of a good sign for me because probably he's gonna have to play with some substitutes players that maybe are not as good as, as the ones that are in the in the lineup in the first team in the lineup so let's see how that goes i could go find more information here i could click on number two then i'm going to be able to see it this dsi is high 33,000. this one is 7,000. they're kind of a old of age so um, he might not be playing with them but we'll see uh his name is ever Nahuel garcia and this one is sebi bridges so we'll see what gonna, what's gonna happen here and then he's got three other injured players that's potentially going to be good yeah this is good because definitely the, these are good players so i might be able to make some to take some points out of, out of the game but let's go to the main dish here let's click on matches and let's create the lineup for this next game it's today at 4 p.m so i better hurry i'm gonna click here and we're gonna start making the changes okay so what I usually do is to go in, to go to the first step, which is load, and I create the, start, the lineup from scratch. That's the best way in order to find the best players. So I always start from the goalkeeper. This is pretty straightforward. This is the best goalkeeper that I have. It's gonna select here. It's four stars. I, I always click on this second little icon here because it's gonna show me the stars. And this is also helpful because it's going to be showing me the starts throughout the length of the of the game. It goes from minute zero all the way to minute 90. There is a break here in the minute 45. So as I said, and now I'm going to be adding more players and this is going to be useful for me in order to see how the players are going to get tired or not. So we have the goalkeeper. Now I'm going to put the defenders. This is a 6.5. That's good. Going to Put a wing back 6.5 great i like this you always want to have at least higher than five in order to have a lead to have any any chance in order to win the game this is going to be a, if this is a 5.5 it's not too bad something interesting to see here is the different uh, scores that you get in different parts of the field so you also want to look into that and the little numbers to see how you're improving depending on the player that you're that you're located the, these are the predictable uh, rankings for my field so at the end when i click on review i'm going to be able to see what chances i have in order to win or lose the game and in which positions i'm going to be more likely to have the ball or not we'll see how it's going to work out at the end but first of all i need to fill out all the spots here in order to have 11 players in the field so we're going to select the winger i can put Bisset. i can put Cortia because these are going to be playing the midfield for sure ruta is a good option for me 6.5 and here we'll see what we're gonna happen. I'm gonna click on this one, Michael Korczak, Nate, perfect. This is gonna be another eight for Baka, and then Kate Samuels is gonna be another eight. That's perfect, that's a good midfield. It's a 7.5, I still don't have this guy here, and I'm gonna be missing a couple of players more, so let's go for it. Daryl Good, Mark Harrison, I'm gonna go with Mark Harrison. It's a 5.5. I don't wanna put Bissett because he is a midfielder. And um, I'm going to be thinking if he's going to be a substitute, depending on how tired these players are going to get. So we're going to hold into that for a little bit. 
and now I need to find my strikers. Astaraz, seven, that's awesome, and I'm missing one player. This is, I uh, have two options here. I can either play a 4 5 1 because it's an outstanding for me, a 10 out of 10, and the same with the 3 5 2. So depending on the other player, I'm going to be figuring out if I want to be, if I want to have more people as a defense or maybe I'm going to need more strikers. For now, I'm going to put this one on the side and I'm going to click here and add a Alvarez, which is a good, um, a good forward that I, that I have in the team. So as you guys can see, this is my, my 352. It's a note standing, which is great. And I can see the, here my numbers. What's the next step you guys need to do? You guys need to click on review. Clicking on review is going to show you the difference between Tennessee and my team. As you guys can see here, I don't have any any attack whatsoever, and he is good at attacking. So that's going to be complicated. He played, that was the last game he played, which is basically was a friendly game. So maybe he didn't have all the players because probably he was training or letting other other players rest so i'm going to click need to click on here but as you can see it's kind of a you know more or less the same numbers so i'm gonna but i'm gonna go and play with this one he was playing tactics normal he was playing counter attacks he was playing counter attacks so what i think is going to happen is that he's going to be playing counter attacks again so what i'm going to do if he's playing counter attacks so i'm going to need to improve defense because cause he's, he's attacking, his defense is very, very strong, and his attacking is kind of strong, but I need to stop his counterattacks. I have a lot of midfield, so what I think I'm going to play is a long shot, just because I need less, def less attack in order to be able to score games. When you play long shot, basically you're, you're basing your chances of scoring from outside of uh, this side of the, of the pitch, so that's why I think it's going to be a good strategy to play long shots. So... Again, I want to have more defense, so I'm going to go to lineup. I don't want to sacrifice any players here because they're going to give me training, and of course I want my team to be trained. But what I'm going to do, though, is that I'm going to get rid of Alvarez. And I'm going to move this guy here, and I'm going to add another defense. Another defensive player, which is going to be this one, 5.5 is not bad at all. As you guys can see here, it has increased a little bit. If I click on review... Mm, it's better now. I think it's it's better. I don't think it's going to be easy easier for him to score. Again, I don't think I'm going to win this game because he's got good ratings here and there. He will be playing counter attack, so he's not going to need midfield in order to make, to to create chances. But we'll see what I'm what we can do. Me playing long shots is going to be the best chance that I have in order to win. So I need to click, go back in my lineup and then go click on tactics and it's going to be long shots. You're going to see that the ratings are going to decrease a little bit. It's not important at all, just because, um, again, I'm focusing on the midfield, which I'm going to win 100%. So my question here is, what else can I do in order to improve my defense? I can play with a specific action for my defenders and midfields, which is basically playing the defense. So I can click on here. You guys see that this has improved. So I can click this one, and this is going to improve as well. So as of now, it's a 9.5, 11, and a 10. And I could do the same with these players here. So I could go here. I could go here. Michael Korchak, the same thing. Apaka, same. Ah, I'm just going to go all in. Everyone is going to be playing defense, and it's going to be long shots. If I go back to review... You guys can see that I'm getting more defense than him. This is good. I think I'm going to leave it this way. The idea is to avoid him scoring. That's all I want to do for now. This is very important. This is going to help me get better and, and have him less ch chances to, to score games. So now going back to lineup, I'm going to start putting my recommendations for the for the substitutes. Around, uh, our Anderson central defender is going to be Jota Luongo. Win back, have you said, you know, midfielder is going to be E.P. Flickinger, that's for sure. Forward, I'm going to add Alvarez, winger, Darvel Good, and an extra, it's going to be another winger. Most, most likely, I'm going to put this guy over here. So once I have this, it's time to go to the next step, and basically, I'm going to be adding team orders. 
here what you want to do you want to move this one from side to side and you're going to see what happened to my players in, in terms of their stamina the more ahead i go it means that the the time of the game is passing by so in the minute 90th you see that garrison he's going to be very very tired Crown Crown west is a 4.5 so if it's another four so i might be thinking on changing these players maybe the the striker as well so what i do usually here is just you know keep moving this and as long as i see as soon as i see one player here with higher ratings than this one with the higher ratings than the ones that are in my lineup in the first team i'm going to make the change so i'm going one by one checking different mm, positions so we're going to start with the center defending i see a 4.5 here this one at this point 75 minutes i'm going to change ground west and this guy luongo is going to start playing so i'm going to click on substitution out ground west in luongo perfect minute 75 so here i'm going to have to click on 75 perfect so we have this one again i need to create another one winback 4.5 donev is a 4 already so i need to decrease a little bit here 65 so substitution out to nev in reset great minute 65 perfect or 66 that's not a big deal new team order now i'm going to be checking uh the sides so for wingers i have a five and graph with it was another five so going to create another substitution garrison is a five i'm going to put uh good right there so substitution here for this one minute 60 perfect um da -da -da. i'm going to check the midfield my inner midfield is a seven so we'll see what's going to happen everything seems okay for now i'm not going to make any changes we'll see i'll see what i do um and then forward 5.5 this guy is at a 6 minute 80 this is a 6.5 so i'm gonna change it here minute 65 substitution sars forward alvarez I'm gonna make the change minute 65 perfect and uh, this was this guy Trap was was a five this one is a six i'm gonna see if this one goes below then a five it does i'm gonna make the change now nah, it seems fine this way perfect okay so i have my four substitutions here that's good i'm gonna go back to normal this is gonna be the, the numbers from the beginning of the of the team so i'm gonna leave it this way then i'm gonna click on penalty takers that's as easy as selecting sort by set pieces and then you just go one by one. I just follow the order. And the rover, he's my best player with the set pieces of skills. He's a 13. And then the other one goes back to six. So hopefully if there's any fouls or penalty kicks, the, the rover is the one who's going to be shooting. And then I'm going to just follow the orders here. Again, I don't think it's very important just because there's not going to be penalty kicks. I just fill out the full thing, you know, because I like, but you know, you guys don't, have, don't, don't need to do that. And then I'm going to click on review. As you guys can see, there is no chances I'm going to be scoring from my attacking side. However, I have some chances to score with long shots and maybe fouls or penalty kicks. So I'm hoping for that. Again, the player that I'm playing against, Tennessee Bolts, he's been playing for a long time. Um, he's had, he's got a very, very strong defense his attack is kind of good as well but my defense is powerful so we'll see how that is going to work out and and that's about it you could save this lineup again i usually do the lineups every single day so and that's good for you guys to see how i do it i think it's pretty straightforward you want to play very important you want to play around the the individual skills from each player so for now i'm hoping to to be able to have a good defense, I'm not too worried about attacking. Again, I'm playing long shots, so that's the reason. And my team added it, in this case, is going to be normal. When you select match of the season, 
it means that they're going to go all in, but they're going to get super tired. And if they lose mentally, it's going to affect my team. So I don't want that to happen. And play it cool just for them to recover. I don't need them to recover right now. I'm hoping or I'm going to do my best to win the team, the, the game. So we'll see how it goes. The most important thing is, of course, to send the orders. Whenever the orders are sent, they're successfully saved. And then you can go back to matches and, you know, just hope that you created the right the right lineup for, for this game. I hope that was useful. Please guys, let me know if you guys have any, any questions. I'm very happy to answer them and get ready for more videos from Hattrick. Thank you, have a good day, bye bye.